Neil Rutherford conducted a very famous experiment called the alpha particle exper uh, scattering experiment. So what he did, well, we have an alpha particle source here. Uh, and maybe I should be clear about this. An alpha particle is basically a helium nucleus. So it has a positive charge of 2 plus. So what he did, he shot these alpha particles towards a very thin gold foil over here. And he surrounded it with a detector over here, which can kind of detect where the alpha particles would land uh, after it passed through the gold foil. Now, as you can see over here, the alpha particles kind of scatter in all kinds of directions. And so upon analysis of uh, the positions of scattering, he plotted a graph of the intensity of the alpha particles with some angle, let's call it theta in degrees. And just so that we're very clear about this, we take the zero degree uh, angle to be here, and then over here, this can be plus 180. And then over here, this can be minus 180 degrees. And so let's get back to the graph. What he noticed was that uh, he got something like this. Let me try to get this nice drawn. Okay. He made a couple of observations here. Number one, a majority of the particles were undeflected, right? Uh, but still, there were a good amount of particles that had slight deflections and very few had very large deflections. So what could he conclude from these three observations? Well, let's see. So it turns out, okay, that let's draw a gold nucleus over here. The reason why a majority of the particles were undeflected was because there was just a lot of empty space in the atom. Right? So the alpha particles could just fly straight through without experiencing anything. Now, a lot of the alpha particles also got some slight deflections. And so there was a conclusion that there must have been some kind of positive charge within the atom itself. And so, of course, how this causes the deflections is that if the alpha particles come close enough, ah, you will see that there is some deflection indeed. Now, what about those alpha particles that uh, had very, very large deflections? And so what happened for these, most likely it came straight on towards this uh, nucleus over here, and then it went rebounding like that. And so what this shows is that there must have been some kind of mass involved. And so to summarize, let's look at the three observations again. The fact that many of the particles were undeflected showed that there was a lot of empty space. The fact that there were some slight deflections shows that there is a positive charge, though it's probably a very concentrated one. Okay, that's why not. That's why still many particles could be undeflected, and of course, these large deflections show that there is some mass involved. So these three observations collectively led to the model that we study very very extensively today, where we have a nucleus over here with a positive charge. And of course, the rest of the atom, as you know, is empty space with tiny little electrons orbiting around that nucleus.